Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. Before we start with today's video, let me introduce you to Moon's Collector. Moon's Collector provides a mystery box of Asian culture, specifically for what you want. They currently have two versions of boxes, with great prices for what they got. If you want to find out more about K-pop, anime, K-dramas and many more, make sure you visit the link in my bio and use my code bangpink.cherry for 5% off. And now without further ado, let's start with your K-pop confessions. Blackpink is basic, I love Blackpink, don't get me wrong but honestly, all of their music videos, songs, outfits dances, are the same, their songs are mostly about love, which isn't a problem but I'd like to see something like that change, personally I could never title Blackpink as basic, they have a very powerful concept that they portrait through everything they do, even if that is their styling or their dance. They have also tried with their first full album a lot of different things, and for their music videos, they are my favorite and I always look forward to see them, as I know they will for sure top everything. I know that we can all agree and disagree but that's just my opinion on this. I don't like Irene she's so much arrogant and bad, we can't like everyone but if you dislike someone, just don't say hateful things to them, you don't earn anything, and if it's about her scandal. We can all take it in a different perspective. I personally think she has apologized and did what's right afterwards. We all do mistakes. It's about how we face them. And of course how bad is what we did. I actually really hope we see a red velvet come back soon. Dynamite was just made to make money. Because it was made in English it would eventually have more sales and more attention as the public that isn't just a fan of K-pop could listen to it on a regular basis, on the radio and on the TV, I just think it was made for a more wider audience, until people will understand how great K-pop is. Jihyo is one of the best, if not the best, female idol that doesn't have a dance position, well I can understand your love for her, and she sure is a great artist, but for me I have seen many more, I wouldn't say she is the best one, but she's definitely up there in every comeback of hers, and she is great at what she is doing overall. People need to stop saying their faves is gay or bi without them saying it themselves. I 100% agree on this one. It's not our business and it's their private life. We shouldn't put that pressure on them and making them uncomfortable by shipping them with each other. K-pop is ruling the charts because American music is getting boring and weak. It's repetitive. In general the K-pop industry does way more than the American industry will ever. The music, the dancing, the producing, rapping, singing, and overall appreciation for their fans are way more. I think we can't compare these two. They work completely different and we can't measure the quality of each other, especially when culture is a very big factor. I find K-pop more interesting and as a community we all feel connected, but with Western artists it's more of the individuals. I love American music and I see very talented people rise there, but K-pop is very different and is mostly based around the fans, and of course having so many groups that are the key to K-pop isn't something we see in any other country, but I could talk for hours about this, it's about culture and the system they have that is making K-pop a genre that can't be compared to any other. First by Everglow might actually be one of the best comebacks in 2021. Maybe not so tea material but it's very good, and the instrumental isn't as bad as I've seen a couple of people make it out to be, I can't agree more, I really enjoy this comeback, and they totally showed us something different and powerful, I liked the rap approach and the music video was also really good, it's definitely from my favorite comebacks of this year. Nut 8, Blackpink is probably not producing or writing their stuff cause they are bad at it. Not because YG doesn't allow them, and Blackpink seem very fake and that might be my opinion but that is how they come through to me. The only thing I'm keeping from all of this, is the not hate, you actually call them fake, and you think this isn't hating, well it's your opinion about if they can write their own songs or not, but at the same time we have seen some things coming from them so you can only judge what you actually see or hear. And let's not go around and disrespect someone if we don't know the truth. 
I used to think we have to know every song from a group to be a real fan, but now I find it unnecessary. What matter is that you truly love that group and enjoy their contents. Exactly everyone can like an artist for different reasons. I also had the same issue in the start, and I couldn't say I was a fan because I didn't know certain things. But in reality if you enjoy watching an artist, and you think it gives you happiness that's all that really matters. I don't like Mafia in the morning by Etsy. I feel like it didn't vibe with me like the other songs did. I can see why, as it's very different from their usual sound, but I really enjoyed it. It's definitely my favorite song from them. I honestly hope we see more of this side of them. I was at Tsukuk Shipper once. I don't ship them anymore but I still love watching Tsukuk videos. I think this is okay on a normal level. I still feel a bit off thinking that the artists might see these videos and feel uncomfortable. But personally every now and then I will watch video reactions. It just brings me joy to see these little interactions no matter the gender. I think Hyuna's music has been worse since she joined P Nation. I mean I'm really really happy seeing her being together with Dawn, and finding a company that treats her better, but her new releases are just not it. Personally I didn't like as much Flower Shower, I just wanted something bigger for her, but with her mini album, I really saw what I was looking for. I like the direction she is going, and of course I'm happy that she follows what feels right for her. I don't get it why our company releasing English version, like who the f actually listens to those, sorry I just don't get it, it's okay if you don't enjoy the English versions, but personally there are some songs that I enjoy better in English, but it all comes to the song, some can be better on another language or some worse. Also I get the reason why they want to have English versions, as a lot of artists release Japanese and Chinese versions as well, so why not if they do all of this, it broadens their audience. I feel so guilty but idols need to learn English, I firstly know that they're not actually required to understand English to be a K-pop idols, but it gets so awkward watching their western interview, like one of the members will lead the conversation and the rest of them will either look so confused, nodding or talking random words, and like how would you have a tour in America, but not being able to speak English, like some of them have big international fan bases, can you took the time to at least learn basic English, I really don't know how to answer this in plain words, we know exactly where we are involving ourselves, we are the ones coming to see them, and the promotions they do overseas are for their fans and to broader K-pop, I know it's helpful to know English, but they shouldn't be required or expected to, as you are not expected to know Korean, if they want to do something it must be, for their own benefit and because they want it, they are artists they have worked enough in other areas to be able to debut. Whenever I think I want something to change in the industry I feel I it sounds like I want to whitewash the Korean culture even if it's not what I want to do, I get it. Personally there are always some things that could be done for the better. What matters to me is the artist to feel free and be comfortable to do whatever they want, without all the hate and criticism they get. Also to everyone be equal is something important. So this was it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will be waiting to see your opinions in the comment section. Also make sure you check out Moon's collector boxes with the link down below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, bye.